Hello YouTube, this is Blast from Your Past channel, a very warm welcome back to another video, an impromptu video because I hadn't planned on making one today, but I took delivery this morning of this beautiful vinyl LP, so I thought I would down tools and jump on and make a video. I hope everybody's doing well, and again thanks for all the comments and the likes and the subscriptions that you give me on my channel, I'm absolutely blown away by that. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, you know it means a lot to me. So getting back to this great album that I received today in the post, this is possibly my most favorite Elvis Presley compilation album. This is Heartbreak Hotel, released on the Camden label in 1981. Now Camden were a subsidiary of RCA Records, which basically means it was their budget line. And from the back end of the 1960s through to the mid 1980s, they released a whole host of Elvis compilation vinyl LPs and cassettes. And this was one that I absolutely loved. I had this as a kid on cassette and I've also had multiple copies on vinyl. And somehow over the years, they've just disappeared without a trace and I haven't got a clue what happened to them. So getting back to this particular copy, I had some store credit for an online website called eel.com or eil.com and they specialize in collectible, rare and vintage records and all sorts of memorabilia. And as I was browsing through uh, about a week ago, I noticed that they had a couple of copies of this LP. And this one was listed as uh, minimal wear to the sleeve, vinyl is near mint. So I thought, well, if I use my store credit, I'm going to snap this up for a fiver. So I thought, right, I'm going to go for it. So I ordered it, it arrived this morning, and as you can see, it's in stunning condition. It's been cleaned this afternoon. I clean it properly with some proper vinyl record cleaning fluid, and then I give it a rinse with distilled water. That is my two-step cleaning method, and leave it to dry on a record cleaning stand. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Very happy to have this. It has uh, the original fan club sticker on it, which says Elvis, 10 years after Elvis fan club. And uh, there we go. This is from Pickwick, as you can see there. I'm gonna try not to get too much glare on this, but it's gonna be a bit difficult, I think. It basically says Elvis, 10 years after, recommended by the official Elvis Presley fan club from Pickwick. And it has the original Woolworth sticker at the top there, 199. Now, because this has um, a sticker on it, 10 years on, I'm assuming this has got to be a 1987 repress, which would explain the marvelous condition. So that, that's absolutely fine by me. Um, yeah, as I said, it's a killer compilation album for two reasons. I love the sleeve, great photo of Elvis, Nice yellow and red background there with Elvis in, in orangey red. I just think it works so well. And that photograph is taken from, uh, it happened at the World's Fair from 1963. And second, because it's a killer uh, track listing. Okay, so let's just flip things over now and have a look at this great Camden label. This is the nice turquoise blue Camden label. And originally when these first came out, the Camden releases, they used to have RCA Camden on the label. And then sometime in the late 70s or the early 80s, they dropped the RCA uh, to Camden. And as I said, this was cleaned earlier on and then I placed it in a brand new, fresh, um, poly-lined inner sleeve, which is what I do with all um, my used records and new ones too, if they're not poly-lined. So let's just have a look at the track listing then. So side one, we have Heartbreak Hotel, Marie's the name of his latest flame. I got stung. I slipped, I stumbled, I fell. Whole lot of shaking going on and Guitar Man. Now there's not one bad track on there as far as I'm concerned. That's a killer uh, opening side of any album, never mind a budget one. And why I love this album so much originally is it contains one of my favorite Elvis tracks, which is his latest flame. I've always loved that song. So that's side one. 
And then side two we have Jailhouse Rock, All Shook Up, My Baby Left Me, King Creole, Hound Dog. So that is a great track listing. As I said, there is not one bad track on this album, and to this day it remains my, probably my favourite Elvis compilation album. Very, very happy to own that again and have it back in the collection. The next one in the line that I think is a great compilation on the Camden label is one from 1982 called Suspicious Minds. And I do have that one in the collection. It's just I didn't have time to drag it all out today, but somewhere down the line I may look at this uh, collection of Camden albums uh, in more detail and just to mention uh, if you like Elvis I would check out RB Vinyl Corner's videos Richard he does some great Elvis um, videos vinyl CD and everything in between and I do believe uh, I was talking to Richard a few days ago and I do believe he's going to do a video at some point of the Camden releases so that will be definitely one to look out for if you're a big Elvis fan and uh, I would definitely say check out Richard's channel because it's very very enjoyable. Okay so let's just have a look at the back of the sleeve now. This is a similar design to the front. It's a nice yellow background with the title of each track in bold black for side one and side two. And then this time we have a smaller black and white shot of Elvis again from It Happened at the World's Fair. And I just wanted to, to point out something. When I was reading out the track listing for side two uh, in my excitement at doing this video at last minute, I forgot to mention that the all-important Blue Suede Shoes is also included on this album. So, as you can see, it's a killer track listing, uh, top quality songs there from The King, and again, it's one of my most favourite Camden albums. And now onto some interesting and fascinating trivia. The Camden record label, I didn't know this, was named after a place in New Jersey, United States, where the original Nipper RCA building and pressing plant used to be. It was built in 1901, and the name of the place was Camden, New Jersey. So once we know all of this, everything makes sense, and that was a, a lovely bit of trivia that I knew nothing about. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drop a couple of pictures in of the Nipper building in Camden, New Jersey. That was RCA's Nipper building in Camden, New Jersey, USA. And uh, as I said, that really fascinated me as I had no idea that Camden came from there. Um, so it just shows you. Now I'm going to show you the export cover for this album. Uh, when it was released, it came in two different sleeve designs. And the one on screen now is the export um, cover, which is quite difficult to find, or at least it's very difficult to find in mint condition. And I must admit, out of the two, I much prefer the, the standard version. And apparently it was also pressed on a clear vinyl as well. But there's no uh, authentic uh, information about that on whether that is genuine or not. So that's the export. And finally, the audio cassette version uh, of the standard album pressing. And uh, as with all the Camden releases, they were always released on vinyl and cassette. And the, the design is very similar, apart from all they've done is they've shrunk the album uh, cover, the vinyl album cover, and put it on a black background with a red board around. And this was pretty much the standard design for most of the Camden releases. And then at the top, it's got the, uh, the catalogue number, which is CAM1204. So that is Elvis Presley, Heartbreak Hotel. And as I've said numerous times on this video, hands down my most favorite Elvis Camden album. Well that's it guys for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, please get involved, please tell me down below if you're an Elvis fan, what your favourite Elvis Camden album is, if you own any of them, what are your memories of the Camden albums, the first time you, you got one or the first time you were introduced to them, and did you have them on album and cassette? Please let me know down below and uh, I should be back in about a week's time with the second part of my Shaken Stevens on vinyl record collection. 
So until then, take care for now and see you soon. Bye bye.